Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you want to hire us or you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form or click the hire us button. Then go to the same place, fill out that form and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. What we are talking about here today is policy-based routing. And this has been coming up a lot lately. What is policy-based routing? What can policy-based routing do? Let's hop into it. So what I've got here is I have a representation of a router here uh, in the middle. And I'm not adding text. I'm going to go back over here. And so we have a router here in the middle. That's the router of your network. And let's say to start off, you've got two um, ISP connections. So you've got ISP1 and ISP2. So those are your first two WAN connections. So what policy-based routing is going to allow us to do is from behind the router, policy-based routing is going to tell us to first, uh, it's going to allow us, I shouldn't say it's going to tell us, it's going to allow us to configure the router so that network one goes just to ISP one. Now, your ISPs can be in <clears throat> fail failover or load balance, uh, and this will work either way. Or they, they could just be two separate connections not doing failover or load balance. We've done it either way. So you can do it, you know, failover, load balance, or you can do it just a connection sitting there. And then that would also then allow network two to just go out ISP two. But it doesn't stop there what we could do is we could tell uh, the router, hey, send network one out of ISP one, unless ISP one goes down, then send network one out of ISP two. This is all policy-based routing. It is uh, it deals with the way that we set up the routes, uh, source and destination and firewall rules on the router. The other thing it allows us to do is we can do individual hosts. We don't have to do networks, right? So we can have host one go out of ISP two unless ISP two goes down and then route out of ISP one. The other nice thing is, is if you've got two ISPs, uh, what you can do is if you're doing inbound traffic, so let's say that you've got uh, inbound, you're hosting something, right? Port 80. Sorry, my pen is not... Uh, cooperating here, uh, but you've got uh, port uh, 80 over here. Uh, you, Sorry, the pin's not cooperating. So you got, let's just say you got port 80 coming in here. If this ISP goes down, you want it to come in ISP2. You can do this. Now you can do it a couple different ways. What I would probably do is set up DNS for both and just uh, maybe just let nature take its course. Um, it depends. Or you could use dynamic DNS, right? Um, and so then if, if, this, if this host or this ISP goes down and this is no longer our main ISP, then ISP2's I, uh, IP should pick up. You could do this with static records as well. But policy-based routing doesn't just work for outbound. It also works for inbound traffic. Now you're probably saying, you know, what happens is, am I limited to two ISPs? No, you can have as many ISPs as, uh, now let me preface this. If your router supports policy-based routing, not all routers support it. Um, we do this with mostly BSD-based uh, boxes, Linux-based boxes, such as OpenSense, such as the Edge Router. Right, so you can throw ISP three in here, and now we can have uh, you know a rule for network one or host one that says, okay, network one, you go out ISP one. If ISP one goes down, now you're going to fail over to ISP two. If ISP two goes down, you're going to go out ISP three. That is policy based routing. We can do the same thing for inbound traffic on all of these. So we can have the same port 80, 443, whatever the ports are, set up on all of the ISPs. And if one ISP goes down, then we can continue to receive that inbound traffic. 
Now, the other really cool thing is it's not just, we don't have to just specify. Um, let me uh, erase some of this real quick. Can we get like a 100 level eraser here? Uh, we don't have to just um, do it based on network, right? So we can actually do this based on protocol and port. What do I mean by that? So if I want, let's say that I've got this host, I gotta change my thickness here. Let's say that uh, I've got host two, and we, so we can do this in combination. So let's say that I've got a uh, host two, and I want all VoIP traffic. Man, this thing does not want to draw an O. That's the nature of the beast. So V stands for VoIP. Let's say that from host two, I want all VoIP traffic to go out of ISP one, but all web traffic to go out of ISP2 and then all email I'm having some challenges tonight here but I want all my SMTP traffic to go out of ISP3 I can do that with policy based routing what else can I do with policy based routing I can say that let's say that um, I want to route all of my traffic for 1.1.1.1 out of ISP3. So now I can not only do it based on uh, the traffic type, I can do it based on the destination, the subnet destination. So from any of these, from any of these hosts wanting to go to 1.1, I can say go out of ISP2. So policy-based routing allows you a lot of flexibility in how you handle your traffic inbound and outbound out of your network. I hope that kind of clears it up a little bit. If you've got any more questions about policy-based routing, put it down in the comments or uh, shoot me an email, fill out the contact form and it'll help you out. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe, please comment, and share. Please follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Those links are down below. If you'd like to support the channel by becoming a patron or by using our clearly marked affiliate links, they are down below. They don't change your price, but they do kick a couple bucks to the channel. If you need that IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, click the Hire Us button, or fill out the contact form, and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.